Sneaker Addicts, what's good? Welcome to the evening edition of the Sneaker Addict Live. I'm your host, DJ Dells. And uh, we're going to get into a ton of sneaker news, not just this shoe. So bear with me and hang out, chill. Um, I got a good hour, maybe even longer. We'll see how the energy is on the chat and the thumbs up. So please smash that. So um, we've seen a lot of Jordans inspired by all types of shit, you know, clothing he's worn from sweaters to suits to jackets. And now we have here, allegedly, we have this shoe inspired by his love for bubble gum. He's always chewing bubble gum when you've seen him play. So um, word around town is this shoe is inspired by his love for bubble gum. How do we feel about this shit? Um, I want to know, how the hell do you feel about this? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you think this is freaking stupid? Um, I think some people are going to say this is stupid. I think some are going to say they love this right here, that they love this, absolutely love it. <laughs> I, me personally, I don't hate it. I just feel like, you know, if you're going to do like a, a gum kind of vibe, maybe even make it like an actual collaboration with a gum company, you know. I, I think also I'm, I'm really impressed with what Reebok's been doing this year with a lot of collaborations. And um, I think that would have been cool. Now, I don't want, didn't want any kind of bubblegum branding all over it, but a simple maybe something in the insole, maybe we will get that. Who knows? Um, I'm not a fan of this colorway. I wouldn't wear this. I, I don't look good in too much pink. I mean, I will... Wear a little bit, like I'll wear the South Beaches, but um, this one is not for me. Maybe for you, but it's not for me. And I want to know right now, is this for you or hell no? Let me know. Shout out to Hawaii Rams fan number seven, Mo Kick, says, closest thing to rust pink ones. Pan leather is a no. At least it doesn't have the gum branding all over like the nerve. And that's what I was just saying. <laughs> I would have liked like branding on the insole, not on the upper though. Like I, that would be too much. Um, he doesn't like, you know, like the Nerf Reebok, the gummy bear joint, the M and M Adidas. Um, respectfully, are for the they're for the kids. He's saying, and I understand that one hundred percent. How's my audio, by the way? Let us know, please. Let your boy know. And if anyone wants to cam up, there's a link in the chat. Show that love and support for the show. And definitely don't forget to hit that thumbs up when you step in. Thank you, Ham. Shout out to Ham, my man, Ham, with the plan. If you got any new pickups, Ham, I'd love to see them. Um, if anyone has some new pickups, jump on board. Definitely do so. Riddick, you know, come through if you'd like. Um, Mo Kicks, respect, respectfully, I'm 40 year, I'm a 40-year-old kid who loves my Nerf Reeboks and proud of it. With the horns. <laughs> Listen, Reebok's been doing a lot of stuff, incorporating the branding. I like, I love that, you know. Um, and at the same time, if you think about it, like, this is all kind of like kid type of shit, you know what I mean? And they're releasing it in men's sizes too. A lot of the stuff in men's sizes. Um, but with the Jordan 1, I wouldn't want to have that branding. Something like a kamikaze, a pump. I like that. I actually really like that, you know, because it brings me back. And I never wore these Jordans as a kid. My parents weren't buying me these shits. Um, Sean says, no, thank you. No, thanks. Um, let's see. Keep that same energy with the Dior's. <laughs> All right. Salute Keegan McPeters, man. He says, pass. These coming out with every color. On yeah, dude. I mean, you know, but it, the gimmick, there's a little bit of a gimmick to this. And I would not be surprised if you look in the insole and there's like, you know, like a bubble, a blow, like a bubble pop or something like that. Um, Riddick says, I'm one of the most metal guys you will ever meet. I do my own thing. Facts, facts, facts. And that's the way we all should do. Do your thing. Forget about what other people feel, right? You only, you only hear once. And you know what? I always say this, man. You're not completely free until you stop giving a F about what other people people think once you start worrying about what other people think you know th that's when you're you're trapped you know what i mean like like as long as you ain't hurting people enjoy your life i always say that jordan wants and the nike dunks are going head to head this year 100 percent um who who wins as far as the hype for a jordan versus dunk as far as the releases who's the number one stunner right jordan or dunk in the chat 
Notorious Kick says pass. Shout out to Notorious. Ham says I, I'm a cop. I can I can see him copping these. Steve Fox says they're tough. Uh, Mo Kick says the Air Jordan one needs uh, needs to be out in the vault for five years. Wow, five years. I think they just need to slow it down with the colorways. That's just me. Quinn Stewart, what's up, bro? Audio's good. Thank you for letting me know. Um, Riddick says, um, I ain't rocking with these, though. No desire. Okay. Uh, Steve says, if you can pull it off, why not? Yes. I mean, I can't pull these off. Uh, what do you think about the video I sent you earlier? I did not see the video you sent me earlier. I, I My Instagram is constantly flooded, so I rarely even check my um, my Instagram. And I don't even see the video now that I'm looking at it, to be honest with you. Um, let's see. Gaming with Will. What's up, dude? Hit that thumbs up button, Will. Steve, Riddick, everyone, Big Rick. Big Rick says pass. Justo says there's a video out on the next taping of NXT that got spoilers on it. Daniel Bryan, yes, Daniel Bryan has signed. We did a show yesterday. We talked about that. Watch last night's show. It was a great one. It was hilarious. Make sure to go watch last night's show if you didn't see it yet. You will absolutely love it. A lot of wrestling talk toward the end of the show um, when we're talking about Brent Daniel Bryan um, signing to uh, AEW allegedly. Uh, he's gonna be. He's gonna show up in September. Okay. Gilbert Garcia, what's up, dude? Um, these are clean. Okay. All right. I see y'all. Dunks. So he thinks the dunks take the cake for this year. I think I'm going to agree with you, Don. I think I'm going to agree with you. Um, off top, the only Jordan one I could think of that really um, lit off some fireworks in the sky for me was the UNC. I love that UNC. That was something special, right? Right. Dunks winning. I agree. Jordan won, Clint Stewart says. Okay, let's see who else is in here. Let's see. Let's see. Um, I want those pollen ones coming out next month. Yes, they're pretty cool, man. I like them too. Uh, let's see. Kill him out. What's up, bro? Not for me, Sam says. Easy pass. Smithers says. Smithers, you got some new. I think you said you got a new pickup coming. If you got some, show it off. Come through. I want to see some new pickups if anyone got them. Uh, let's see. Fly, what's up, bro? Good to see you back. Mo says um, dunks are whored out, too. Yes, yeah, completely. I mean, but they're hard to buy, too, though, man. I mean, it's, it, unless you're Mo Knight, you know, Mo Knight is able to just get stuff whenever he wants, right? Um, I think it's the black that throws me off. I actually, actually like the black, to be honest with you. That's what's keeping me in the game a little bit, to be honest with you. Um, but I, I, you know, shit, we all like different stuff, but, um, for me, if this didn't have, if this was all that color, I don't know, unless they hit you with like some Bazooka Joe kind of colors, you know, that would have been kind of cool. Like they did with that SB. I would have liked that, you know? Um, but all in all, these shits are going to be selling out like crazy. You know, this is just money in the effing bank for them, right? Money in the effing bank. You know that. Nah, you're not in timeout, but I only want people camming up if they got new pickups. I want to see sneakers. I want to see sneakers. So if you don't got new sneakers to show, I'm good right now. I just want to chill and read the chat and all of that. If you got new sneakers, you want to show them, come through. There's a link. And I'll put it one more time. Should have picked a different color than black. Okay. So I see, I see y'all don't like the black. I see, I see. I'm um, trucking right now, so I stopped chatting. It's all good, bro. I don't want you driving while you're freaking watching my YouTube channel. That would be terrible. Like, let's um, be careful driving, right? <laughs> For real. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yo, what's up, dude? What's up? He says, feel like the right. That's what I'm saying. I feel like that too, man. Like, yo, like you guys are like squeezing the juice out of this shit. Like, you going to put out the sneaker, you know, with the bubble gum, like, because he chews bubble gum. I mean, listen, when I think of Michael Jordan, the last thing I'm thinking about is him um, chewing bubble gum. 
that's just me. But I think most of you aren't going to look at Michael Jordan and say, oh, yeah, and I, you remember Michael Jordan, the, the, the basketball player that chewed bubble gum? I, I highly doubt we'll get one person that even thinks that. You know, I, I, I don't think that's going to be the case at all. But the dude chewed a lot of effing bubble gum while he was playing, man. Like, a lot of effing bubble gum. If you look, I have a, a, a plethora of photos of this man just chewing effing bubble gum. Um, let's see. Nope, that's not where I want to go. And he actually even had his own bubble gum. For you, some of you young bucks, you may not remember this. Some of the um, heads that, that are a little bit older... You know, this was um, a big deal back in the days. This was the hang time um, shredded bubble gum. Now, you know, Big Lee Chew was the goat, right? That was where we, I think most of us went with the Big Lee Chew and not this. But, um, you know, he had the hang time bubble gum. Probably was the same brand. Just, you know, they just had it um, named um, hang time instead of... Um, Big League Chew. If anyone knows, let us know. But, um, yeah, my man was always chewing that damn bubble gum, bro. Like, you know, look at him. He's stretching. He's wearing some Jordan 4s, Fire Red 4s, chilling with the bubble gum. Look, more with the bubble gum. That's, that's a tight joint he's wearing, too. That shit is fire. But, yeah, man, my man always liked chewing that damn bubble gum. Look at him. Sweating freaking bullets. Playing his ass off, chewing bubble gum. So I mean, it does, I guess, make sense. I mean, this makes more sense than that damn Letterman jacket. Remember when the, the, the from the Letterman show they did that whole thing? Oh yeah, you know we're gonna do a shoe inspired by his outfit he wore at the Letterman show. Um, I like this way better. I think that honestly, out of all the things they've done in the past, it kind of makes sense because the man was actually chewing a lot of bubble gum. Um, so I will retract what I was saying a little bit, but still at the same time, I feel like they are reaching just just a little bit. Joe Dizzle, what up, bro? MN, what's up? He says they're fire. Um, dunks all day. Let's let's put that image back up of the shoes while I dig through and say what's up to everyone and see what y'all are thinking. He says, salute, Riddick. It's just a personal opinion. I feel like the shoes can be inspired by a theme, but the branding is excessive. Okay? Um Dunks over Jordan right now until the fragment Travis Scott shoe comes up, which should be very soon. Uh, Smithers, eh? Shout out to Steve Smith for the dono. First one of the day. We got the Super Chat, the Cash App Super Chat. Show that love and support for the show. It's greatly appreciated. Um, that LeBron OS was insane. Any other TBs? Um I think that's all I have, to be honest with you, dude. I could show you that again, though, real quick. Hold on, because I got it right here. I got it right here. Yeah, there you go, bro. Let me make. Let me go full screen so you can see it good. Yeah. This is the Ohio State LeBron 6. Um, and you see you got the logo right there. And the shoe is, you know, it has a lot of leather. Every, everywhere where it's white. There is leather. So the, the whole effing shoe, basically, you have um, some carbon fiber over here. It's, it doesn't feel like it, actually. I don't know if this is uh, if this is just a plastic. It doesn't. I don't think that's um, actually carbon fiber. I, I may be wrong, though. I always say I'm not the sneaker expert. I'm the sneaker effing addict. Some people expect me to know everything, but I really just, I know, I think I know a little bit <laughs> more than the average, but uh, cool shoe. Uh, it kind of always remind me of a boot, like a little bit. I don't know if you're seeing what I'm saying, but I, I always felt like this remind me of a boot a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, but, Joe, thank you for the donation, man. Ultimate compliment, ultimate Dell's time with Steve Smith, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. You know I rock with you, bro. Let's go. What's good is Smithers, eh? Shout out to Steve Smith. He looks like lugs. Yeah, you, you get a boot vibe off this, right? I get the boot vibe. Let me know if you you um, see what I'm saying. He says cigars and bubbles. 
Yeah, I mean, look, they came out with that. Do I have the shoe up here? Do I? No, I don't. I wish I did. It's in my storage. They did come out with the cigars, which were cool. They came out with the cigar six and the seven. The six was la. It was so freaking good, bro. Loved it. Um, yeah, he he says it too. Jimmy the Saint, come up, bro. If you're free, love your company. And there's a reason why. I don't eat. I don't like everything that comes out with heavy branding. I'm pretty selective when it comes down to it. It has um, to. It has to call me. Okay, it has to pull them in. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I got something crazy from Jimmy that we're gonna dig into in just a second. Uh, let's see. Let's see what's in here. Um, these young bucks don't know, man. We used to beg our parents to buy the sports cards and some. Yes, for real. Remember that though, that nasty, stale stick of um, bubble gum that would be in the cards. They don't have that now, right? They don't put the gum in the cards no more. I don't think they do. But um, yeah, that that gum was a little rough back in the days. Uh, but we loved that shit, right? It was like gold to us because we just loved getting those basketball cards. The base book, but cards are back. They're really popular again. Um, for for all my nerds out there, I think most of y'all are effing nerds anyway because you collect sneakers. Some of y'all may think you cooler than uh, cool, but um, if you got a whole, if you collect in anything, you're an effing nerd. Um, in my personal opinion, they released a ton of um, hold on, they released a ton of uh, collectibles today. They're exclusives. This um, Red Hulk. They had a red version. I, I sold one of them for like 70 bucks. And now they're coming out with a half and half Hulk. Um, you may want to pick this thing up. Um, and it's cool as shit. You know what I mean? I, I just caught like three of them from Target. And I flipped one to break even with the other two that I bought. My my son has one to play with. But um, if you want to get this joint, it's in the chat. I don't know if it's in the description. It should be, but it's in the chat. So if you're watching on the playback, definitely do so. Um, little, little Uzi Vert is reportedly trying to buy a planet that's larger than Jupiter. And I, I was saying on my Twitter at DJ Dells until the aliens come with them ray guns and tell them to go F off because you know what I'm saying? You know, the aliens out there. I think so. Um, we've also got these Metallica vans that are releasing on the 25th and I will be buying the, the skate high. I love the skate high, love Metallica. 100% cop in these hoes, without a doubt. Um, let me know if you guys listen to Metallica at all. Um, and if so, what was your favorite album? Mine, it's it's a toss-up between the first three. I have a hard time judging the first three um, are my favorite. Um, Kill Em All, Justice, um, Kill Em All, Ride the Lightning, and Master of Puppets. ESPN is releasing a Sports Center shoe. Um, these are kind of cool, bro. It's got like the old school look on the box. And um, there's no release date yet, but it's inspired by, like, when they first aired, like, the background and everything. And I don't give a crap about the box. I'm just breaking that down for the ones that do. But um, look at the freaking leather on this. These are the top tens. Very cool shoes. I love top tens. Um, I always say if I ever got an Adidas collaboration, it would probably be with a top ten. It's got a similar silhouette to the Jordan, right? I, I see that or a dunk, you know? Um, let's see. Those vans are dope. Yeah, they are. They're pretty freaking badass. Yes, Death Magnetic was fire. And the album after that, um, the self-destruct album was sick. Um, I saw Metallica on the Injustice for All tour. I didn't go to that tour. I went to the, the Black tour. Um, I wish I would have seen that because they had the Lady Ju Lady Justice and you know what that is. They 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 have it collapse. I think when they perform Injustice for All, um, a diehard Metallica fan. I, I love them so much. Um, I've seen them live. I think five times, four or five times in New York. At always usually Giant Stadium they would perform, or upstate New York I would go, like around where um, where the hell lives upstate? Oh, Riddick, um, no no Matt for the win is out. Like around that way over there. Um, Let's see. Soldier Boy was the first to do it all. Soldier Boy, yo, people don't put enough respect on Soldier Boy, right? Maybe it's because he act like a fool sometimes. 
So people just focus on that. He says, man, imagine um, imagine Jordan signed to Adidas. Yeah, he'd be wearing those a whole lot, right? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Black Tour was – I loved it. I had a lot of fun on that Black Tour, man. They were in suicidal tendencies and dancing perform. And look, we got my homeboy here, man. I just want to thank you so much. Um, and Are I they come in? Front him. Yes. Um, and Jones has got his in, but Jones yeah. is playing volleyball right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, he told me he messaged me, so I, I sent them up at the same time. I didn't know if they were gonna get there. Yeah, dude. So I had this Funko Pop. Um, I've had it for a while. It's a two pack of the Hardys, and Matt Hardy is coming to my area in November, and I always wanted to get this autograph by both of them. And Jimmy told me, "Yo, if you want." I could get three things autographed at this concert. He he actually is a musician too, Jeff Hardy. So what do you know? I sent it to him. Uh, and he got it. Sunday, he, he met Jeff Hardy, seen him perform, got a bunch of stuff autographed. And one thing was this right here. And I'll tell you, man, Jeff Hardy, he's such an artist. Like his freaking autograph is sick, right? Yeah. Probably like the best autograph I've ever seen. You know. When he signed my thing that had like a bunch of other WWE superstars, his sticks out from everybody else. And there's some heavy hitters on that autograph piece that I'm working on. Scott Hall, Finn mm -hmm. Balor, Paige. Yeah, that thing is sick, bro. Like you got real heavy hitters. But yo, man, I, I really got to thank you. That was super cool that you did that for me. I really no problem. appreciate it. Glad it came back safely. Yeah, it came back. It looks exactly the way I got it. So that's pretty freaking awesome. But, you know, Jeff Hardy's one of my faves and Matt Hardy. The, my favorite tag team by far is the Hardy Boys. I think that the Hardy Boys are freaking amazing. So um, thank you again. Um, yo, since you're here, what do you think of these, bro? I You know, I always noticed that when Jordan was playing, he always chewed a lot of bubble gum along with the, you know, infamous – sticking out your tongue while you're playing, which when I played ball, yeah, I'd that's always do that. I always re recognized 100%. Yeah. But you I see, I had thing. to retract that shit because he was always chewing some effing gum, you know? Yeah. And I'd always imitate. Like, I couldn't, I can't blow bubbles even to this day, bubble gum, but uh, I would always stick out my tongue like he did playing basketball. Oh, always, bro. Play basketball with the with your friends and stuff. Oh, After yeah, school. yeah. And then you'd be like trying to do that layup when you switch the hands around with the tongue out. Or go you know underneath I mean? the basketball goal and spin it around and go on the yeah, other side. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I'm talking about. Like that with the switcherooski in the hand with I've that fadeaway. Yeah. You know what I mean? That yeah. Kobe took from him. I had you know? uh, I always had tall people like get at me when they're defending me, and they could never get me because I would do that that uh, fadeaway that he would do. And they were like, you just nail it at the exact moment. Uh -huh. Like right I'm about to block you. And I always loved Dave Chappelle when he did that whole thing when when he was it was a comedy sketch and was like Jordan, you know mm. Jordan Magic, you know it's like because we used oh. to do that when we were kids, you know what I mean? You do the sky hook, you really? like Ma John's Magic, you yeah, know what magic. I mean? Yeah, yeah you 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 do all of that shit, man. So you know I'm sure the kids do that still, you know I don't Giannis. know Giannis, yeah Giannis LeBron, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know and we I turn was, around in a circle, Chris Paul. <laughs> I've got to be nice to Chris Paul. He, he did all right on the last game. He scored 26 points. I can't give him heat, you know. I, you know, Father Time beats everybody, man. I just think that all the years he's been playing, like, it's – it's it, I think time's about to run out for him. Dude, I'm telling you, man, Chris Paul – shout out to JJ, by the way, um, on this, this pop he sent me for my birthday. Yo. This guy's bad luck, bro. He's bad <laughs> luck. He's bad. He's that friend that whenever you go out with them, something bad happens. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like Chris Paul is bad luck. Because, yeah. yo, he should have a ring by now, bro. You know? Yeah, at least one. Yeah. And this time around, they were they did so good the first two games. So if you can do that good the first two games, then how can you get swept for the next four, you know? Momentum. Momentum is yeah. such a thing in sports. Mm -hmm. it, oh, facts. 100%, man. Um, let's see what else we got here. I want to share some other stuff. Let's see. What do you think of these, by the way? Honestly. They got that They got that old school vibe to them. I'm not mad at them. Uh, you know, close up on it. The materials look 
A A one on them. Yeah, it's got that like Python kind of print on it. I mean, you always like the old school vibes. At least I do, but it could be because we're older. Uh, maybe yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. It's it's hard to. That's why I'm curious. People in the chat, let us know, man. What do you think about this shoe? Um, is this something that you would get? The price point should only be about $110. Uh, but, um, you know, it's, it's very similar to, like, uh, the Dunks and the Jordan 1s. Um, they fit about the same. you got all these different uh, lace lacks. You have a, a gold lace lack oh, kind of cool. remin reminiscent of um, the Jordan 6, right? Yeah. Um, and these don't normally come with lace lacks, by the way. And, and I just noticed up top it has the ESPN Sports Center up top. Then you have an Adidas Dubray, and then you have a Top 10 Dubray. And then you have another Dubray. They Dubray the shit out of this. this is, <laughs> we should call this bitch the Dubray. Like, the you know? Dubray Adidas. Yeah. Um, even on the back, there's a little ESPN logo there. Um, oh, I like the old school. I mean, yeah. it gives you that old school. If you go and, like, YouTube – the old shows out of the old studio, before, you know, it's going to look ancient compared to what they do now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's got that ESPN vibe. I like them. I might, I might go after them. Yeah. Um, by the way, I watched this um, show. It was on um, TNT and it was all about inside the a M NBA with, you know, oh, yeah. like Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, Charles Barkley, Shaq. It was so effing good. It was a documentary about how, how you know, they casted everyone for the show, and, and Shaq came in a little bit later, and yeah. it's such a good watch. I was watching, I was catching up watching AEW Dynamite last night, which was actually pretty damn good, I must say, and I, um, that came I, on after. It just sucked me in. It was so good. So if you have Hulu, just search inside the NBA, watch that documentary. It, it was it was fantastic. I'll give it a 10. It was that good, bro. And I ain't giving it 10 I'm, shit. I'm about to hit up my sister and be like, yo, give me the login for your Hulu because I didn't yeah. know that was on right after that oh, or else. It was, it was bananas. It was so damn good. Um, so this is the official images of the Stewies right here. Like uh, those. Yeah, bro. Um, will this thing be difficult to get is the question. And chat, well, let me know what, what, like, are you going for these or, or no? Um, I'm curious to know. Oh, it's on Netflix too. Okay, thank you. For oh, okay. That. I'll definitely go look on Netflix. I got that. Yeah, fade away for me, man. Hard to guard. Yeah, yeah, man. Everyone was when you were a kid. You always throw that that fade away, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, or that that quick spin fade away. I was nice at that. Oh, I, used I nailed. Pretty dope at, on in bat. I used to be dope playing basketball when I was a kid. Now, I don't know, man. It's been a hot minute since I played basketball. I mean, I, yeah, I run, but I haven't played ball in a while. I yeah. need to go back down and just go super early in the morning when no one's at the park, so no one can be like, hey, man, you want to play? I'd be like, I'm trying to get back to where I was. Uh huh. You know, I want to be like, yeah. and one, like, put the ball between your legs. Hell yeah, man. You know, I could slam dunk, bro. I could do the windmill. I could do all that shit. I could jump from the foul line. Shit, I could it dunk from the three-point line, you know. NBA um, Jam style? Yeah, yeah, dude. Spin, you know. Bang! It's going in. Bong, bong, you know. Nice. But I don't nice. like to show off, so you'll never see that. You'll never see that. Right. You don't want to make um, any other people feel bad. <laughs> yeah, right? That would be <laughs> that would be some scumbag shit, right? <laughs> so, yeah, the Stewies, man. Um, are we buying these things or nah? They, this is a 17 low. I can't F with this. I don't... I got to get these. I love Stewie. I love, I love you know, I love the show. Um, I've been watching this shit for a long time, this show, man. I've always wanted that um, LeBron 6 Stewie. So I really want these. Um, jo um, Jimmy, what are you thinking, bro? I'm hoping I don't have to sit 90 minutes to uh, receive my L like I did in yeah, the South Beach. Yeah, that was absurd. Oh, and I love by the toe. Like, you see how they accent that shit around mm -hmm. that blue? Yeah. It's so good. That cartoon vibe right there yes bro it's an animation vibe like the shattering yes. and stuff i gotta get these things ah uh, me too i might have to even just I venture into the world of resale super sucker for this right here um but yo remember they released those um those those um graffiti what was it graffiti 17 was it graffiti no graffiti 16 or no, maybe it was graf no, it was graffiti seventeen. This is the eighteen low, right? Mm -hmm. 
So um, they released that. That it was kind of like a fusion. It had like a lot of the the traits of the four added on to the shoe with all the graffiti. And um, a lot of us thought that was going to sell real well. And that shit sat, man. So I mean, I, I, I hope these sit so I can go get my pair. I hope so too, man. <laughs> I don't want no problems, man. Yeah. I just want to go in, buy my effing shoes and keep it moving, man. For exactly. real. Yeah. You see, ham needs these. What's up, Donna? How are you? If Steve anyone gets them, it's going to be, the laces gonna be ham. Dope. Yeah. Yo, the laces work crazy on those, man. Got the whole vibe, right? Yeah. Um, and we have some more images on feet, I'm pretty sure, lined up. Yes. Yeah, so here they are on feet. Kind of a weird angle, right? Yeah. To take the on foot. But, hey, we appreciate you. Thank you so much, man, you know. But, um, yeah, man. Um, I, like I, definitely, I definitely go with the no-show socks on these. You know everyone wearing them damn um, um, white crew socks now. It's uh, really popular right now. I notice everyone in their mama is wearing them shits. Um, but like I'm the, good. Like the I ones like all the way up to the knee? Too. Say that again? Like the ones all the way up to the knee? No, to the thigh, right right by the crotch. No, okay. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like halfway on the, on the calf. <laughs> He's like, what the? Fuck? I mean, I've seen Dakota Kai in NXT wear like the up to her knees, but she's obviously an athlete. She's gonna go kick someone in the face with them. Facts, bro. Yo, sneaker pimp says, "I'm what's good." Dell's got my sneaker out of tea yesterday. Yo, thank you, brother. <laughs> Salute to you, man, for for copping that tea. And he said the, the oh yesterday. shit. Hold on. Yo, thank you. I got him double up, <laughs> doubling up on the damn audio right here. And um, he's saying that the quality is great. I mean, I keep telling yeah. you all, man, you got to keep in mind the people that make my T-shirts make all Elite Wrestling's T-shirts, um, which is a blessing. It's such a blessing that I have that. So when you when you wear those, like, John Moxley tees and, you know, Kenny Omega and Young Buck tees, that's the same shit I got, man. You know what I mean? You literally buying this where the same thing is in Chicago, man. So yeah. and, and shout out for that opportunity, man. Salute for real. Appreciate that. Shout out to Pro Wrestling Tees. So yeah, I have a link in the chat. Get yourself a tea, man. Get yourself a tea. Don't just get it for me. Get it for you. Get it, get it for you, bro. Um, there's some sales going on too. Um, Nike's having a sale. Um, the code is best 20. I have it linked in the description, but you, you know, I'll, I'll put in the chat. I think this is one of the good buys. I feel like everyone wants one of these shoes to see what the experience is. Or, do you, you don't have one of these, correct? Mm -mm. If I wanted one, it'd be the ones that kind of look like that Back of the Future vibe. Yes. To, to me, they're, they're, that that's the best. There's no mm -hmm. one better than that. Because when you, when you get auto lace, when you see auto lace, when you hear auto lace, you already know what you're thinking of. You're thinking of Marty McFly and all of that, right? Exactly. So, I mean, like, like, shit. They they should just keep it coming with all of that 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 colorway, man. I, I mean, mm -hmm. like every model just put out the like even this one. This one looked really. Did they do it on this model? I don't think so. No, I think it's a model before, but do you know? Yeah, give us a general one, release. Yeah, this one looks like like it could be a Back to the Future shoe. So why not give us that even in a limited amount? So you know they won't sit. No. In uh in in that that colorway that mad colorway. Get that money, Nike. Come on, use your brain. You have you know it at I mean? your disposal, Nike. Yeah, use your brain, Nike. Use your brain. Shit. I like but the yeah, sound effects. For for, for an auto for. for for a damn um, shoe that auto laces for $288, I think that's a pretty good effing deal, um, in my personal mm -hmm. opinion. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, okay, so this is where the sale is. I have it in the description, but I also will put it in the chat. Guys, don't forget about the kids, man. I copped um, Air Maxes for my daughter, infrared Air Maxes. I paid like 50 bucks for them. They're usually like 80 So, you know... Get on with that. Don't forget about the little kids, man. You know, I know y'all got kids. Some of y'all nieces, your sister may have a kid. Cop them a pair of shoes, you know. Um, shit, cop your neighbor a pair of shoes, you know. 
you know, shit, why the hell not? And, and he, this is the story we were talking about with this shoe right here. It seems like people, ah, oh, fuck. Seems like people really like this. Um, I think for the most part. Let us know in the chat if you like these or not. Interact. We all live. And uh, the best thing about going live is that I get to interact with y'all. And if you watch on the playback, I want to know how you feel about it. Really type, type, type. Don't think that you, you're not part of this show. I'm reading your comments. So leave yeah. them. We all are. And this shit was ruthless as all hell. Did you see this? <laughs> no, I didn't see well, this. Watch this. Vince McMahon. Oh, it started from the end. Hold on. So look. He's dribbling freaking um, carrying cross. Yeah. And then he's going to throw the alley yoop. If you're a wrestling fan, you know what this is all about. He got screwed. Look, Triple H is trying to block him, bro, because that's his NXT guy. And then he goes, bang, Vince McMahon dunks the ball. The head, excuse me. That shit was crazy today. Um, yeah. There was early access, too, for this. But I don't think any one of us got that early access. No, the sneakers app went down, apparently. I kept reading yeah. and hearing about that. I think people were going ham, you know, trying to get these. Shout mm -hmm. out to ham. Um, but, yeah, man, shout out to everyone live once again. Miss oh, Josie's up in here. I Shit. <laughs> Kill them all. Steve. Shout out to everyone in here. King. Shout out to everyone up in here, man. Salutes, everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in, for real. Y'all could be anywhere right now. Y'all be doing all types of shit. You're here with me. My dude, man, my dude, Jimmy the Saint. Like, really appreciate that. Yo, don't forget, we're going to be doing the sneaker battle tomorrow at 7 o'clock p.m., Steve, okay? Um, Money Fresh Clothing, good to see you in here. Salute. And don't Oops. forget, tomorrow at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll be live. And we'll probably do a morning show. Um, we're definitely going to do a morning show at, at, the sneak, at the Dell show. It won't be here. We'll be doing the morning show, I'm pretty sure, over at the Dell show. Because I don't think – is there anything releasing tomorrow? Not on my radar. If it is, yeah. it's something I probably don't want. Yeah, I think it's light work tomorrow. So, mm. you know, unless it's something historic, like the South Beach is coming back, then we're going to be over at the Dell show. So subscribe to this channel because we, we have some good streams. And I put exclusives out. Matter of fact, we did an exclusive on these, an on-foot look review in less than two minutes on these, you know, we just, no one got time for all that bullshit all the time. You know, people just want to see what they look like, find out how, what the sizing is before they buy them. Yeah. I highly recommend this shoe. I love these. Barclays the are always on point. They're fire. The craftsmanship is fire. Let me go full screen real quick. I have a link in the description where you could get these a little bit over retail. Um, but I highly recommend these. You know, you know, guys, I don't be recommending shoes a lot. Um, I think if you got to pay twenty, thirty dollars extra, even fifty, I would. That's how much I like these. And and once again, I don't be co-signing shit like that. You know that. If you're a right. lifer here, you know I don't. Le LeBron eight. Where is the LeBron eight dropping tomorrow? At, at, at select retailers, because none of the ones around my way got them. I saw in clothing had like a raffle for them or whatever. Yeah, I but... answered that. I answered that ra raffle. Did you? No, I'm not. Fan, uh, you know, those are they're all right, but I'm just, you know, I'm not a fan. I wasn't a fan of the Space Jam movie, so I'm just gonna pass on them. Let it, those you that want them. The Space Jam movie was incredible, bro. <laughs> you want the freaking cops on you, man? You gotta get locked up, bro. Oh shit! Are you serious? Yeah, nah, the Space Jam movie was. <laughs> eh, it was. That's <laughs> what I was telling my friend, but at work, he's a big LeBron fan. I sent them a a, a meme where someone ripped off like the. The um cereal box with LeBron on it, and they put an image of like another box with Jordan in his Space Jam uniform. They're like much better. Yo, you know the acting of LeBron in the first like twenty minutes was god what awful too. When he's like being like the scumbag dad and everything like I that. I tried to tell my friend, and he just was like, "Oh man, like nah, you let you letting your your uh, love for Michael." Come in. I'm like, dude, you're nah, letting the love for LeBron come no, in, bro. No, you know, th those are just excuses. That's what LeBron diehards like to do. Exactly. LeBron never, yo, LeBron could never do any wrong to a diehard LeBron fan. Like, it's just a fact of life, bro. Yeah. I mean, and why would you write this? And I don't blame LeBron. I, I, I blame the writers. This is a kid show. Why do you have LeBron coming off like a complete asshole to his kid? Like, for real. Like, yeah. it's a kid show. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like have him. Wow, it's LeBron James. 
LeBron James always comes off as a friendly guy. So why in the movie you have LeBron James as like some kind of like stickler asshole dad? You know, the kid's like building some cool ass video game and he's just like, oh, well, F your video game. You know what yeah, I mean? F yeah. your video game. He was stomping on it like freaking um, dude on Chappelle's show on the couch. He was yeah. freaking doing, you know what I mean? Like it was crazy, bro. I'm, like, I'm get on. He, you know, he, but. He reminded he do me of the old man yelling, like, get off my lawn. Yeah, get off my lawn. Like, He's just shit. like a miserable prick. Like, and, and how about that basketball court, man? I want to play over there. Ball. And then the ball just bounce passes and bong. Like, that shit sound like fun. <laughs> yeah, he said he loved asshole LeBron. Yeah, but I don't mind an asshole LeBron, but not to the kids. Like, it's a kid's movie. Like, hey, I was bro. like, what are you doing, bro? Michael was smooth in the original Space Jam. Yeah. Like he, he, he always has been like that. Even despite growing up being a shy kid, you know, mm -hmm. even was shy to meet Dean Smith when he was in UNC. Yeah, he. But it was so good the Space Jam movie. The mm -hmm. performance was so good, right? Yeah. LeBron. Yeah. It was kind of like it, it seemed like he wasn't even trying to act. Like I don't. You know where when he started acting when he went into the animation shit. Then I was like, hell yeah, this is for good. Yeah. I could have watched the whole shit as an animation. He was smiling. You could tell the excitement in his voice. But Damn. before that, he was like really dry and like kind of like boring. You know, and and I didn't like the way they kept switching it. The two D, then the three D, then the this, then back yeah. to normal shit. It was like. Yo, just keep it like it was with Space Jam, you know? Yeah. Like, like they, they, they it, you can't blame LeBron. You got to blame uh, Warner Brothers. So, Warner Brothers, you done fucked it up, bro. You done did it. You done fucked it up, all right? Yeah. For the real. original director even said that, hey, LeBron isn't Michael. Sorry. Like, he chimed in and he's just all like, yeah, I didn't like it. And he, you know, he has room to talk. He directed the first one. Facts, one hundred percent facts, right there, bro. But I, it went. My kids loved it, so that's all that matters, right? Hey, as long as the kids enjoy, it, that's fine. I just don't think they grew up with those same characters, so they may not know who. My Bugs kids or... love Space Jam, the first one. They love it. They love that shit. They said that this one wasn't as good. And when I tell people it was, you know, like the original was good, I'm not saying it's Oscar worthy or anything. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just, you know, get away, kind of like, you know, maybe you had a bad day, you watch it, it'll make you feel like in a good mood. Yeah. I mean, one thing for sure, they made a whole shitload of money, though. You know, they banked like big money. If you, like, I can't even imagine LeBron James, what he got paid for that. Like, he yeah. must have gotten paid crazy effing money for that shit, bro. Like crazy money. Um, I mean, maybe maybe with all that money. Or tuna world star called the LeBron. I never seen that. I've seen that. Yeah. But I mean, it's a fun watch for the kids and it's a fun watch for the adults. You know, you, you I mean, does anyone really expect that it was going to be like the effing bomb, the, the movie? I didn't. You know? No. I didn't think so. For you, uh, Michael, for you, uh, Michelangelo fans, they've got the Michelangelo 10 inch Funko Pop now. Did you see that? I saw that. I had to pass on that. I had to get the Jordan one. I'm trying to stay away from the 10 inch Funkos because they just oh, take you, up so you much skipped space. on this. No, Jordan, I, I, I went for, but Michelangelo, I passed. Yeah, no, I ain't getting no Michelangelo 10 inch. I like Michelangelo, but not that effing much. Where yeah. I need a 10 inch Ninja Turtle, you know what I'm saying? This one um, is a this must is a must cop. If you're a sneaker dude, I mean, this is gonna look great in your sneaker room or even in your room. You may not have a sneaker room. Just put it on your desk. Take it out of the effing box. Looks fire. Uh, Blackout Customs has it on. And if you look in the background, he has one. But this one is sick. This is with him with the uh, you know the NBA uh, with the excuse me with the USA uh, you know jersey, the number nine jersey. So uh, this thing is dope. I, mm -hmm. I ordered it with the quickness. It's only 30 bucks. I have it linked in the description, and I also have it linked right now in the chat if you want to scoop it up. Um, he says, for the kids, okay, I watch with, but um, I could pass, okay? Um, I agree, Kilma. He says, I'm going uh, to make a Space Jam 3 with the rock. <laughs> I've been <laughs> hearing that. 
Maybe they'll do a Space Jam 3 with another Basil. Let me ask you a question. If you were booking Space Jam, right, and for some reason LeBron, he, he passed on it, right, and you're the director or the casting director, excuse me, to be precise, who would you have in Space Jam? And you can't say Michael Jordan. It's got to be someone on the current NBA roster. If you need a second to think about it, think about it. But I would love to know who would you get? To me, be Luca or Giannis. He said Luca. Yeah. I, I think Steph Curry would be fantastic. I would go with Steph Curry. I think yeah. he would do a great job. I think he would, man. He's I would have Steph Curry, to be honest with you. G Fish says it too. I see it. I see it. Don't you see it? You yeah. see it, right? I Have see you seen it. him in the new Subway commercials? He's pretty hilarious. In his- yeah, dude, he's good, bro. Yeah. KD, but does but KD don't got that personality, I don't think, to do the movie, you know? Yeah, he seems a bit bland. Yeah, he would look good in the movie. He got a look, but I don't think he has the personality. I would would have loved Curry. I think that I would have took Curry over that. He said he's not a bad yo, Chris <laughs> Paul would have done, dude. <laughs> Chris Paul would have done good, but I think the kids love um, Curry more, you know? Steph Curry, that is. I don't know how the kids are with Curry. My kids don't touch that, but I love me some effing Curry. Um, I don't know, bro. Does he got the personality for that? I'd say Luca may have more personality. Yeah. I think Curry would be fantastic. Um, Let's see. All right. So, yeah, I thought that would be good. Good conversation right there. Let's see what else we got on this menu. But, yeah, once again, if you're looking for this Jordan freaking USA joint. Yeah, I knew what you meant, Kevin Garnett. I knew what you meant. The thing is, Kevin Garnett, and I I don't want to say that. He watches the show from time to time. I know for a fact he does. So, with all due respect, you got to be someone that's playing right now. You know what I mean? That's in Mm -hmm. the NBA right now. Because if not, then I want Michael Jordan, you know? Like me personally, I think they should have had Michael Jordan, but a lot of people say, "Oh, well, it's Michael Jordan." You know, he's done with the NBA. Da 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 da. They need to have someone current. Mm-hmm. But you know, it's, it's a movie. You can, dude. You, you can make freaking me and and Jimmy look like uh, Scotty Pippen and Jordan. You know, like like in, in a movie, you see freaking um Jimmy dunking the ball. You're doing all types of shit. Full court. In a mo- yeah, full court. Ah, yeah. Dang. And the you know ball's I mean? going to be on fire like NBA Jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, like, you got to be so current. And I, I really think that, uh, man, Steph Curry would have been really good. But, once again, I don't blame LeBron. I blame the writers. I think the writers wrote a shitty-ass plot. Um, about an algorithm. I mean, how isn't this supposed to be a kids movie? My eight year old doesn't know shit about no algorithm. I don't know how to play Minecraft and um, you know, roadblocks and all that crap. You know? Yeah. So, Kawhi Leonard, <laughs> God, he could Just be like laugh. They, they would have Kawhi as like an evil robot with his laugh. <laughs> you know, with his laugh and shit. Have you seen the YouTube video of him laughing to the old NBA theme song on NBC? Oh, and it's. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. That shit is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that oh. shit is. Fu- Yo, if you're just walking in here, if you haven't yet, please hit the thumbs up button if we're giving you some sort of entertainment today. Also, if you'd like to send the five dollar super chats and ask us to show off a sneaker, we'll do our best to show you his kick. Um, you could try to stump us. You could ask, you know, just show me a Jordan six. You know, show me a Jordan eight. Um, that's open. The super chats with the cash apps. Trey Young, Trey Young is too too uh, too new, too green in the NBA. He just started. He's amazing, but um, he's not. He's not. A, I don't think he's got that name like a Curry or a LeBron yet. You know what I mean? So we gotta we gotta wait and see with that. Um, let's keep going. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yo, look at this shit. The crow. I saw that. This is pretty dope, bro. But I didn't buy it. I gotta nah, check. I gotta I gotta be selective. 
Yeah, my wife gonna kick me out of the effing house. I keep getting all these figures. That's why I was like, yo, y'all want to send me stuff for my birthday? I'm like, I'm hoping I get figures because then I can blame it on them. <laughs> yo, I didn't I didn't buy the crow figure, right. you know, right? They sent it to me. My friends on YouTube sent me it, you know, for my birthday or just to unbox, you know. Mm -hmm. Then they can't, like, she can't say nothing because I didn't buy it. Like uh, someone sent it to me, you know. You're like I can't so, be rude. I cannot send yeah, it back. Oh, that's what's was today, and I brought this in. She goes another fucking <laughs> one and two. I said this was already mine. I just got it autographed. Look at that bad boy. She was like, "Oh, that was really nice. Who sent that?" And then she, you know, yeah. she was like, "Well, that was really nice of him." And <laughs> Yeah, I found out about it last minute. It's like, I got to let them know and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Send it man. to me rapido. Forget about it, bro. That's why there's advantages of being single, too. Trust me, brother. You know? <laughs> um, let's see. And yeah, once again, this thing is badass. I, I had to get this. I'm shocked I'm it didn't sell out yet. Um, yeah, I might man, have to do that now. Forget about it, bro. I can't. I just hope that they that the paint is nice on it, man. That's the only thing, man. Sometimes I hope. I hope they don't ship it to me in a bag because this I got this Jerry Seinfeld one and it just showed oh, up. Pez? Let me see. Yeah. Pull, pull, show it. Let me see. They get the glare out. Yeah. The one with the Pez. They sent it to me in a bag, like from the store. And it's like, I didn't even know it was at my doorstep until like literally the next day as I was leaving for work. You know what they're it, doing? You know what they're doing, right? Yeah, they're getting it from the stores around. Yeah, me. they're delivering it. They got someone from Walmart literally getting all the orders from the stock they got and then dropping it off at your door. Because me me and Jones got shit at the same time. Like, literally, we were talking to each other on the phone and we were like, yo, son, I just got it. They just dropped off a bag yeah. with, a fun with Funko Pops. I don't even remember ordering. They were pre orders for like from like hell long ago, you mm -hmm. know? So, um,. I guess they're doing that. I as long as they don't come in jacked up, bring them to my house. I don't give a shit, you know. Yeah, as um, long as the box is good, those ten inches are hit and miss. Yeah, I, I got so many freaking ten inch Funko Pops. I gotta chill out, bro. Um, these are kind of dope too, man. I'm gonna put this in the chat. It's only thirty dollars of free shipping. These hoodies, man, and, and they're easy to match. You know, once it starts getting a little chilly out with that olive green, you know, it's, olive green to me is like camo, you know, it's so easy to match up. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you're looking for some college teams, rep your set, it's $30, bro, for a hoodie, Nike hoodie. Your Nike hoodies are nice, man. They're tough looking. Oh, yeah. Um, this shit is kind of fire right here. Make sure you follow my Twitter. They were, Yo, did anyone have any luck on this? This released today, too. This wow. free 99. It's supposed to be inspired by, like, um... You know, like like the candies at the bodega. You got all the different colors. You got the brown swoosh, supposed to be like a Tootsie Roll and everything mm -hmm. like that. Um, I didn't go for them. I forgot all about that shit, to be honest with you. I was, it was too late before I saw them, and I was like, up, oh, on to the next one. Yeah. Um, let's see what else we got here. If there's anything else cool, I like these joints. These are these are kind of cool. I posted some on these. They're not for sale on on sale, but they're available. Um, the polka dot joints. They came out with more sizes on. There's a restock on these. I'll actually put this in the chat. It won't be in the description. So just look at the chat if you're watching on the playback. Um, I got those. I like them. They are. I say good quality material on them. They look nice. It's just that I look at this, I think of like a version of the Olympic 7, and I don't need one when I have one already, you know? Mine, uh, the Olympic 7s that I have is on pretty much uh, retirement. The bottoms, uh, one of them is talking, and maybe I could fix it with glue or so, but it's definitely out of commission for now. Oh, I see that. You're Graham. a bad influence, man. <laughs> it's fucking Graham. I, I spent like $150 on freaking toys today. Oh. You better not oh. say that too loud. <laughs> like, what? 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 Like, like, nothing. 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 I said joy. I spent much of my money on joy. On joy, not toys. Yeah. I got you something. <laughs> Yeah, and Daniel Bryan, it's looking like Daniel Bryan is going to AEW. I'm, and I'm hearing all these rumors that also um, CM Punk may be going there. Have you heard that? 
I've been hearing it. I've been hearing a lot. It's starting to gain uh, chatter. And the thing about that, I'm happy for them. Like, you know, but I feel bad for the current talent that it's in there. It's all like, all right, you have these two guys come in. Well, so long, Adam Page. There goes your mm -hmm. push. There goes, you know, the guys that have been there from day one. I feel bad for them because they're busting their ass to do something in there. You know, obviously everyone can't be the champion, but I'm sure they're like, well, we came on when, you know, these guys weren't here. And now that they're here, the, you know, apparently it looks like he might be able to ride his own ticket. And I really like Adam Page, man. I, I like that he don't got that little weird cowboy thing looking no more, you know, with the chaps and all that. It's a little extra, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I like him just as, like, a drunk. He's literally a drunk wearing, like, a – dressed like a southern dude with a yeah. flannel kind of shirt and all of that and jeans, like, you know. And then the, th the thing with Punk, uh, Booker T was talking about it on his show. Oh, it's really? Like, I gotta check it out. Oh, he was just saying if, if he does come in, he's 40 years old, out of the game for seven years. And he's like, you know, Booker T said, like, you know, back, you know, when I was in my 40s, mid 40s, I, I started having doubts. He said he wouldn't even take off his shirt in the locker room because all these younger guys look better than him. He had something really? in his mind. Yeah, Booker was just all like, I was like, well, Booker always looked great, ring wise yeah. and shape. But he you said know, he has got to be a little um, self conscious. They yeah. were wearing barely any clothes. I mean, at this point in time, I think wrestlers should should be wearing pants at this point in time. Like <laughs> I, I, sometimes they be wearing really short trunks. It's like, what do you do? Put some effort yeah. on, bro. This shit's a little nasty, man. You know. Yeah. If, if I was a wrestler, I'd be like wrestling in street clothes all yeah. the time. I'm glad Sammy Guevara actually puts on a little more clothes now. The dude was like practically nude wrestling, and I, I think he's great, you know. And he's been on the show. We did a great interview here, so definitely yeah. check out. Shout out to my dude Sammy Guevara. I got nothing but love for you. I'm, I'm complimenting you. I'm glad you put on a little effort clothes. Hey, what's up? It's Sammy, the Spanish guy Guevara, and you, yes, you are watching DJ Dell's The Sneaker Attic. Make sure to subscribe and be the best ever. That's right. Be the best ever. Yeah, good guy. I like I like Sammy. I like him more after your interview because you got to like almost relate to him. One hundred percent, man. And and I felt like that was a real. He I see he seemed to have a lot of fun in the interview. He actually left a comment in the video, mm -hmm. which is nice because a lot of these guys don't do that shit. After I'm like, did they not like my shit? Right, <laughs> right. right. But I think he had fun. I, I even did the sheesh thing, and and you know that was before the that sheesh thing on. was popular. Yeah. Now I hear I fear people saying sheesh is so cringy to me. But when it was cool for like a week, you know. I think I started I saying, saying it more after the interview. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now I'm like, oh god, stop saying it over and over again. Just be weird. My kids stopped doing it too. Like already, they're like that's played out, Dad. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop. Um, it says wrestle in street clothes, like prime time. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or John prime Cena. Time. Yeah, yeah. I love, I love dumb crime time, man. Or that dude that showed up last night for after uh, Jericho. Oh yeah, I've Spears. seen that. Nick Gage, that dude is crazy. Dude, they're freaking wrestling in Car in the Carolinas next week. That match will be in the Carolinas. I could only buy one ticket, though. I could only buy two tickets. It won't let me buy just one. And I don't want to buy two tickets. I got no one to go with. Like No one cares. No one likes wrestling. My friends are like, this shit is stupid. You're weird, you know? Oh, it's so much fun to go. I know. I'm, I'm willing to go by myself. I may just buy the two tickets and say F it, you know? Maybe just go outside. Like anyone, need, anyone want a free ticket to come you, in? Yeah, I ain't doing any of that shit. I'll just have an <laughs> extra seat. I can put my stuff there. You know what I'm hey, saying? There you go. Because I don't mind going to a show by myself. I've, I've, I've done it plenty of times. You know. I thought so. that painmaker announcement that Jericho was bringing back kind of fell flat. I saw. Yeah, that was goofy. With. That was yeah. super goofy. He's trying to go like Cactus Jack, like Mick Foley's bringing in Cactus Jack, where everyone's like, "Oh, oh crap. shit, you want to go? Shit, come scoop me up and we'll go." You driving? <laughs> I ain't driving. Stretch and get the first beer. Stretch will be drive. Stretch look like he drive crazy. I don't know about going to car with Stretch. Stretch look like he one of them freaking maniac drivers that give me a heart attack. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe he's a good driver. I be getting nervous with people driving, man. I don't know. Well, I'm like, holy shit. I got a few friends that maniac. I got this on my timeline a hundred times. 
Um, let's see. I get nervous with people who have road rage because I was like, I don't want to get shot or in yeah. a fight out here in the streets. What do you think about these? These this is um images. They're coming out September um 18th. What do y'all think about this? Chat, talk to me. I feel like y'all not are y'all here? Talk to me. What do you think of these? I think they're good. I mean, I'd rather have the he got games, but mm. uh, these are definitely constellations since I don't have those. Yeah, they're pretty dope. I have those shoes somewhere. I gotta find them. I like the blue on the, the Jordan logo on it, of course, the little hologram. Yeah, I think they're pretty nice, man. Definitely a clean pair. Nice. It all depends what's releasing all in September. Mm -hmm. You know, if there's there's other stuff that you know takes precedence over this, then I'll concentrate towards them. But if this is really like, you know, okay, you know, this is one of the best in the month, then I may just go for them. Thirteen's a cool, definitely a cop. Gigi says. Uh, let's see. Never liked 13s, but I had the He Got Games. Okay. Bong bong. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right, baby. Let's see what else we got here. Let's see what else we got here. Um, oh, yeah. So, Drake, you seen this shit? Yeah. I was like, oh, I mean, I mean, they're going to be hard like the supreme forces i can never get those you know yeah these are gonna be hard to buy bro you know the thing that's dope about this shoe is the outsole mm -hmm. you got little hearts yeah so that means they made a whole rubber molding for the outsole for these that's effing expensive man oh how much is this i don't know what are you talking about you played you played five games today <laughs> This guy's nuts. Jones is a is a uh, Olympian now. Yeah, he's, he's a beast. <laughs> An effing beast out here. Um, yeah, so you know it's kind of cool. Got the little hearts. I, I don't know if y'all can. I think y'all can see that shit. I'm like zoomed all the way in that bitch. But um, yeah, no release date yet. But I'm sure we'll get these eventually. What do you think um, the cost to be on them joints? Probably one twenty, one fifty. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be. Um, and thank you to all the great birthday wishes I got um, the other day, man. I got tons of them. Thank you so much. Awesome. And thank you all for hanging out with me right here. Um, here are some actual images of this Oreo 5 that's coming out, too. Um, I never liked the lining because it was white lining. I always said, why the hell would you do that? Like, yeah. it's going to get all nasty. Chill. They come out uh, on 9-11. See the bottoms are yellowing real bad. And I will be out of action for a few days around that. I'm going to a three day fe um, uh, music festival. So I will not be around. You will not have me, most likely, for three days. That's a lie. I'll probably scream on the Dell show. That's a lie. How can I be away from y'all? But it, it may <laughs> not be like this, you know? Yeah. Where I'm pulling up stuff because I'm going to be having to save my phone while I'm there. Um, live from the concert. Dell. Yeah, live from the concert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who knows? Maybe yeah, that, you'll run into that guy. After six, what were you gonna say? I'm sorry. And maybe you'll run into that ultimate Dells guy. I mean, he came in randomly the last time. I mean, it sucks you missed him, but hey, hey, you on mute, Dells? I may just walk in there and it just transforms and I I just become him. You know? Yeah. I mean, hey, that go, could go. that could happen. You know? It's go it's ham in the mosh pits. My clothes rips like the Hulk and shit. I start getting big arms and stuff. It's crazy. Yeah, Stretch ain't a fan of that either. Um, these shoes. I, I, they should have done the six. The six is fire. The six is such a dope shoe. Um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, that material looks like it get dirty easy. I that love Gundam. these. I, oh, the Gundam. I feel like people don't like these like I like them, but I love them. What do you those think? Are, those are awesome. Those are hard, man. I want yeah, them. Yeah, I think they're sick, dude. Like, I really, really, really want these shit. So, um, I I'll hope watch I them. Guys, if y'all want me to stay on, we got to get the likes up, please. Y'all breaking my heart. I just checked them. Good Lord. Y'all hurting my feelings. Um, these are sick. How do y'all feel about these in the chat? Let me know. It's such Let awesome, too. God. It's like futuristic almost. Yo, that's what I'm saying, dude. They look sick. 
They look absolutely sick, man. I got to get these. I have got mm -hmm. to get these. Hopefully I want to get them, but I know the resale on these are going to be crazy, but I'm going to try to score as, as I can for retail. Hopefully not, man. Yeah, the chat's digging them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would definitely love to have a pair of these. Uh, I'll find something to wear them with. I know a lot of people may not be a fan of the swoosh, but I will find something. I will finesse them on my feet. And Dude, I'm going to just dress go. like that damn unicorn my, um, uh, robot. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to just dress like it, you know? Yeah. I'm going to get the costume and just wear those shoes with them and just walk like a f effing robot, you know? Get the, get those Megazord boxes from those Reeboks. Wear the Megazord with them. Yeah, the boxes. If I was like four foot tall, maybe that would <laughs> I don't think that shit's gonna work, Kimbo. <laughs> and yeah, they come out, they come off. The swoosh comes off, bro. Oh, does it? Yeah, you see, it's about. Oh. Yeah, it's I keep, Velcro. I keep enjoying. I like that swoosh personally. I know a lot of people may not, but I, I just, it's just like Jones and Shannon. I think everyone else likes them. To be honest with you, um, and then we have these joints, which um, I think a lot of people are looking to just make money off of this shoe yeah. as far as it being like a resell piece, you know. But um, the leather looks nice on them. These are the Billy um, Eilish joints. Um, September 9th they're supposed to release. And and that'll be here like right around the corner. It'll be here. Like time is flying, guys. Like it's going to be. And then okay. we got these Prince jump offs too. Okay. And it's got hella reflective, as you can see right there. Look at the reflective on that thing. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, um, Are these I would, regular dunks or SBs? Um, they're SBs. Okay. Yeah, they're SBs. Um, and yeah, man, that's about it. I think, oh, these are sick. I got to show these again. Yeah. They don't have a release date on these, but these are bananas. Oh, damn. Those are clean. Yeah. This shit got over a thousand likes on Twitter. Make sure you guys follow my social media at DJ Dells is my Twitter. Um, I'll post it on the screen so you can see it. DJ Dells is my Twitter and my Instagram is real DJ Dells, real DJ Dells. So make sure to follow my social media, especially with deals and restocks. Um, I'm constantly posting shit on my Twitter. Like everyone should be following me there. Um, don't forget also my sneaker attic t-shirts. Pick one up today. You, they, they look amazing. You definitely want to get yourself some tees. Look at all the designs because I have a shitload of designs. ton of them. So get yourself a tee. And, uh, man, I think we're about to get up out of here, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, thank you again for this awesome assist with getting this autographed. This no is sick. Yeah. Bro, I really appreciate it, man. I love Jeff Hardy. Um, so Good thank guy. you. Um, yo, what up, bro? Shout out to Jordan in here. And um, yeah, we're about to get up out of here, man. Um, if you enjoyed this show, we have the Cash App. You can always send some love, and I'll shout you out on the next show. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow, 100%. You'll definitely see me tomorrow. Leave your comments on the playback. Thank you for being here. You can be anywhere in the world, and you're here with me, and I really appreciate that. We out.